Welcome back to a brand new video and this time we're headed up this steep zigzag road to check out an abandoned mining camp that sits at the very top of this mountain. So let's go up and have a look around. First view of this mining camp from up on this road. Seems like there's a couple of buildings to check out. Should be interesting. We have some ventilation pipes right there. Great indication of a mine nearby. Then continuing forward. This just looks like a trash site. There's tons of old barrels and other ventilation pipes. That's part of an ore cart rail. A lot of general miscellaneous stuff laid about. Continuing forward. So this really wasn't expected. Look at all these ore cart tracks just laid about. And then we have a ginormous stack of ventilation pipes. That is extremely neat to see that. And those are worth some money too. They're not worth a lot, but usually they'd be removed from the mines. I'm surprised they're just sitting here in storage. Going further down, we have the hood of a vehicle. Then a bunch of sheet metal on this side as well. So this was just a storage site. We're not even at the mining operation yet. But this must have been where they stored a lot of this stuff. That's why it's all left behind. We have a bunch of pallets on this side. Some rubber hoses as well. Another ore cart railing that I'm very surprised hasn't been taken out. I have some mine winch cable right there as well. Winch cable on this side. And in the distance, we have the mining operation. So let's go check that place out now. Coming up to the abandoned mine, there's definitely a lot more than I thought there would be left behind. Sure is a lot to see. Beginning we have an ore cart track down there, which we will hike down there in a second. And then we have this building that's built right on the edge of the cliff. Let's see what it is. Looks almost like an ore bin down there. That's what it was, I think. But it's just odd to have this building up top, on top of an ore bin like that. Then going this way, have even more buildings over there. Looking up, we have a waste rock pile. We're going to go up there later in today's video. Then we have these stairs going down. They would have had electricity right there, likely a light socket. Then looking down, this is definitely a new type of mining for me, a new type of mining operation. I thought this was a ore bin just from looking at it, but so it does have a outlet like a ore bin and it goes onto this conveyor belt, which is connected to an engine, of course, to power it and the the chain and everything like that to keep it moving. The rock would have left that conveyor belt, gone into those two pipes, and then into the smelter. A 
a very interesting process. I can't say I've seen anything quite like this before. And looking over, they built this out too. Maybe provide a little bit of shade. We have a tank right there, like we a water tank. And this giant platform that goes out. And a hopper right there too. So we'll go, let's go down there and uh, see what else we could find. Going this way, we have a tank right here. Looking at a hopper above it's that walkout platform. See if there's anything inside of this. Looking a little bit empty. Some equipment, got another building. So I'm going to go down this real quick. Climb down this very rickety staircase. Have some outlet pipes. Going out of the smelter. Right below this hopper, look at how we built this up. This is really interesting. And then, looking this way, we have what looks to be an ore cart track. It's just bizarre how they use those pieces of metal for the cross timbers. It might be a makeshift ladder that they just implemented an ore cart track. Got another one right there. And then, looking at the other perspective of this huge chimney thing built out of brick. And then, look at that. Would have had a light right there. So this operation is modern enough to have electricity. There's just so much stuff to look at in this place. Don't even know what to check out next. Ore cart track right there, which I do think they used that as a proper ore cart track. I think it was a waste rock ore cart track. Judging by the fact that there's no roads or anything down this way, so it wouldn't make sense to have a ore cart track down there unless it's for waste rock. We have a upside down outhouse. And then continuing on this waste rock. Have a hose right there, I wonder where that goes. Looking up, let's go back up and check out that platform. Have another staircase right there going down. Some pipes coming out from the mines. Water tank right there. And then we have this huge platform with an ore cart track on it. Which is very rickety. Like, look at this. I 
everything we've looked at on this side. We still have so much to look at too. All these buildings are some buildings past these ones. And then going up to those mines. This is where the hopper is, right down there. This is as far as I'm going to go. We'll go a little further. As long as the ground isn't shaking, we're good. It's crazy how high up in the mountains we are too. This is a very high elevation mining operation. And to support this, they had logs going throughout. A couple of these logs have fallen down, which makes this extra unstable. And the supports on this side are absolutely gone. You can see how they have just fallen down. The ore cart track would have continued out into the waste rock pile. Another ore cart track down there. Now let's go and check out this building. As for this building, I'm thinking it's a workshop. Have a barrel right there. Huge pipe coming out of the mines. And I see a platform up there, so. We'll check that out too. Which I'm trying to find the entryway. I'm just going through this wall. I don't see an entryway. This definitely was a workshop. Unfortunately, people have decided to shoot up the walls. Water pipe right here. Imagine. Now water in this place. And the odd thing about this workshop is I'm looking around. And where was the entryway? That's a wall right there that's been ripped out. This wall is all windows. And then, nothing this way. So how did they enter this building? I see this, which kind of looks like a garage door, but they wouldn't have a light socket and electrical on a garage door. This is the oddest thing I've seen. I'm thinking this was maybe some type of entryway right there, but all of this, there's no doors, nothing to get into it. That's funny. Unfortunately, the windows have been smashed out. So let's keep going and check out that other building. Looking at another one. Makeshift table right there. So this was the entryway for this one. Let's see. 
Yeah, they built this thing right on the side of the cliff. They were really limited for space, which isn't obvious with this mine being located on the edge of a cliff. Isn't much room to build. Another workshop, I'm thinking. That other one was probably a garage, and this one was a workshop. I have some boots on the ground, some gloves. A bunch of junk scattered all over. Some shelving. The electrical box right there. All these shelves probably held tools at one point when this place was active. Then we have a building right there. I'm thinking that was the bunkhouse. This is the same building that we just looked at, but there's a second room on it I just noticed. Water outlet right there. And then nothing on that side. We already looked at that side from the other entryway anyway. Then we have this this small office. One office like building but this definitely isn't an office the more I look at it. Shelf up there. Would have had a light. We have this desk. The shower. Look at all this piping. It's always interesting to look up those brands, see if it's still in business. Part of a furnace right there. Look at this door too, it looks so neat. Which the rest of that furnace is right there. So this is a relatively modern operation looking at it. If they had propane furnaces. That's more modern compared to a lot of them I look at where there's uh, wood furnaces. Just has some contacts. Just looked at this tool room, workshop, garage over there. Everything else we looked at is on that side as well. And then we have what's likely the bunkhouse. And on top of it is another building. clothing line right there very neat still has one of the lines on it and we have this built up foundation I assume there's once a building right there so a couple of entryways on this side a bed spring, not much else on that side. Let's go inside. Yep, the bunkhouse. Neat chair right there. Electrical. 
some shelving on this side. Then we enter the kitchen. Unfortunately, some of the ceiling tile has fallen down. Just look at those cupboards, how they've all decayed. It's so neat to see that natural decay like that. For as big of an operation as this is, I'm surprised there's not two bunk houses. Another chair, very neat looking one. And of course, another bed spring. Doesn't look like anyone's been here for a while. Mike Anders, I've seen that name at a couple of locations. It's funny when you look at those names on the walls and some of them look familiar like out of the ghost towns and stuff you've been to. They've also been to quite a few. It's like, okay, I recognize that one. I've been to the same places. Another makeshift shelf. And counting all the bed springs gives a good idea of how many miners there were living. So far we found three bed springs. And this just goes out to the back entryway. So now that we're done looking at that, let's go up and check out that building. Yeah, that's a water tank. It's always interesting to see when they make a little platform, a building going around it. Looking back at the bunkhouse, nothing else that way. So now let's go up to those mines. Now at the top of the waste rock, and we have an ore cart track right there that runs along and goes right into the portal. Bunch of wood timbering outside of the portal too. And this portal looks too far gone to enter. That's all collapsed right there. Have a bunch of ventilation pipes above it. Odd location. And there definitely, even above this portal, you can't get in, this is all eroded. We have a ginormous rock there, likely falling from up there. All these ventilation pipes that are being smashed, sitting on that rock. So let's keep going up, because we have another mine to check out up there. Right above the mine with the collapsed portal. There's another mine right there. 
so we have this extremely long ore chute right there. And there's no, uh, there's no mine at it right there, by the way. It's collapsed in. You could see the timbers where the portal was. The ore chute comes to an end right there. Maybe there's an upper at it. any other edits if there is it has been collapsed in looks like there would have been one right there I hiked around and I found two other portals but they were both collapsed in as well so this is it for today's video I assume these portals were collapsed in because of just natural decay. Looking at the waste rock, it has a talc-like substance feel to it, so I assume the mines are very unstable if this waste rock is what came out of them. With that being said, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to get out of here now.